We've become so dependent on our phones and other technology in our everyday lives that most of us can't even imagine what life would be like without them. So if we're all hopelessly addicted to our phones, it's worth asking, are smartphones damaging our brains? Let's find out on today's episode of... In the past decade, no invention has changed the world quite as much as the smartphone. Today, there are almost as many cell phone subscriptions as there are people on Earth. And over 70% of Americans own a smartphone. 80% of teens and 70% of parents in the US check their phones hourly. And 36% of parents say they argue with their kids daily about device use. 77% of parents feel their children get distracted by their phones. And a shocking 56% of parents even admit to regularly checking their phones while driving. In other words, we're all addicted to our phones. So much so that it's transformed how we talk, learn, watch, shop, and play, just to name a few. And the effects aren't just mental. There may be physical effects too. The National Toxicology Program did a study on the effects of cell phones on mice. It found that cell phone use increases the chances of brain cancer and tumors in mice by about 3%. That's scary news, but we're not mice. So what does that mean for humans? Well, after crunching the numbers on that study and a bunch of others, the International Agency for Research on Cancer concluded that there's some evidence that smartphones can increase your chances of getting brain cancer and tumors, just like the mice. So, once and for all, do smartphones cause cancer in humans? Yeah, probably. But the good news is that there's some easy steps you can take to lower your risk of exposure. Start by keeping your distance. Smartphone exposure is kind of like a fire. If you sit close to it, you're fine. But if you're close enough to touch, it's going to burn you. Try using speakerphone while you're on a call. Carry it in a bag or purse instead of in your pocket, and maybe even turn it off when you aren't using it. So if you're worried about what your phone is doing to your brain, try using our tips to lower your exposure. And don't let technology rule your life. Or, you know, at least try. And now you know that smartphones might be bad for your brain. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. We may just answer it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.